Tesla is doubling down on their plans for a world full of autonomous vehicles. And honestly, I was disappointed to hear that their plans had changed for their next generation platform. In his Q1 broadcast, Elon Musk did say that elements of that low cost manufacturing design would be pulled ahead, but we'll have to wait and see exactly how that goes to market. Their unique plans for manufacturing, internal battery development, and additional production capacity in low-cost manufacturing countries all pointed towards Tesla becoming an automotive superpower. In this video, though, I'm going to argue that the unthinkable might be true, that Elon Musk might be right. Maybe going all in on self-driving is exactly what Tesla needs right now. The narrative has changed on Elon Musk. Oh boy, is that an understatement, huh? And I'm not saying this is fake news. He deserves it. The smiling, nerdy, awkward genius who brought us rockets and magical cars now presents himself differently to the world, spending maybe a little bit too much time on social media. And yes, years from now, if this all implodes, Tesla's jumped the shark moment it won't be Cybertruck. It will have been his acquisition of Twitter. The smartest man on the planet has very quickly become the dumbest. Go yourself. <laughs> Is that clear? I'm a car geek. I love the auto industry. But I keep waiting for Tesla to mature and become more like a traditional automaker. But maybe that's the wrong move. At its peak, Tesla's stock was worth as much as the next 10 auto companies combined. You know, that's just ridiculous. But how did they get so big? Because even some reputable analysts jumped on board. It was more than just a meme stock. Tesla would be an energy leader with mega packs for grid storage, pretty solar roofs, power walls finding their ways into many millions of homes. Tesla does have the best EV charging network in North America, and it's being open to other automakers. And then there was a thought that the Cybertruck and the Semi would catch other truck companies off guard, but nothing would make more money than full self-driving. Autonomy is the ultimate AI challenge, and for the past year, AI has become the ultimate steroid for stock prices. I want Tesla to become a car company, but being an AI company is much better for their stock evaluation. The traditional auto industry is a place where companies can invest many billions of dollars, and if they do so wisely, they can make millions with single-digit margins. It's not great, Bob. And unfortunately, legacy automakers have largely come to the same conclusion. It's better to sell one car at $60,000 than two cars at $25,000. In a mature market like the U.S., there absolutely is market demand for affordable EVs, but they have to compete with used vehicle prices that have depreciated. Compare that to other tech products where, as long as you keep innovating, you can keep selling at double-digit margins. The tech industry has been thrust into a battle for the future. Will this happen over weeks or continue to drag on for years? Any thoughts of keeping AI in the lab until it's ready? That's gone out the window. We've seen how generative AI, after given training data, can mimic human writing and storytelling. We've seen how Gen AI, given the right training data, can mimic human drawings. Generative AI, using the data collected from vehicles on the road, could finally be able to mimic human driving, maybe? I'm skeptical too. We've been here before. A decade ago, we thought full self-driving was just weeks away. And now we know it's much more difficult than we originally thought. Human programmers are struggling to account for every driving scenario. Just when everyone has gone sour on the dream of a self-driving car, the rapid advancement of AI could change the timeline at supercomputer speeds. Tesla says they now have 35,000 NVIDIA H1s working on this technical challenge. By the end of this year, they want to have 85,000. Tesla is promoting FSD supervised, making it a mandatory part of the delivery process, offering free trials and lowering the price as a purchase feature or as a monthly subscription. They need more miles, more scenarios, more training data to be gathered so that these vehicles can train the AI neural network. With the right data, 
we've seen generative AI make master... What the hell is that? Okay, that's better. Full disclosure, I do own Tesla stock, although I've sold out of most of it. And I wish I'd sold out of all of it. And this is not financial advice. I'm still skeptical. I do not think that a camera-only system like Tesla's FSD can provide enough sensor data to achieve full autonomy. I'm talking SAE level four or five. But with the rapid emergence of AI, it does have me wondering if maybe I'm wrong. And to maintain their premium stock evaluation, they need investors to view them more like NVIDIA than Nissan. Tell me what you think. If this is the beginning of Tesla's next great chapter, or is this just the Mad King threatening to burn them all? It's going to be a wild ride either way. So thank you for watching.